Hello everyone, Alan. This episode, we're going to look at wrestling programs. Specifically, we're going to look at the Southeastern Championship Wrestling Program. And on this one, as you see, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant on the front of this program. I believe, if I am uh, truthful on this, I believe this program was done by Les Thatcher, wasn't it, Rodney? I believe it was, and I believe he wrote, I think he has a, a column inside as well. There you Most go, Andre the Giant. Uh, what year was this? Do you remember? If we were there, that would probably be 80, 1980. 1980. Andre the Giant on the front of the uh, program. Uh, I believe, was this the same time that we were in uh, Crossville, Tennessee? And he... Uh, Russell against uh, David Schultz and Dennis Condry. Maybe that was in Athens. Yeah, it was Athens, Tennessee. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was the old high school. It was – that place was jumping. And, and most of the other towns were not doing well at all. But this one, it was Bob Armstrong and Andre the Giant against uh, David Schultz and Dennis Condry, and they tore the house down. It was awesome. Uh, here is uh, someone that uh, that uh, some people may uh, – let me just do it this way. Maybe that will be easier to do. Jerry Roberts. R, who is this uh, man, Jack? Jacques Rougeau. Yeah. Jacques Rougeau. The mountain. Right Jerry Roberts then. With the uh, reverse toe hold on into the pony. Uh, by the way, at the bottom of this, at the bottom of this, there is a uh, Art Craft Printers. And I, I contacted them this morning. And I wanted to see if they still had photographs and stuff because you know i thought well if they have photographs i'll drive to knoxville i'll pick up, pick all up. Stuff. yeah uh, they threw it away 15 years ago oh <laughs> have it, it did, it, did they have anybody else call about it uh, no i don't think so they they said they were so sorry but they said they had they had boxes full of stuff and they threw it away wow, wow. boxes Man. full of programs uh, that they had printed uh thousands of pictures they said that they had just kept there for years uh, while they were doing this program because they said they also did the program back in the in the 1976 and, and the 19 so they had tons of stuff and just threw it away i i could have cried and they, they gave me a little sad face too when the, when i told them uh, i'm a day late and a dollar short and they gave me a little sad face about it but uh, this is this is something this is a wrestler's eye view by les thatcher Everyone is wondering who the Manador is. What they're not wondering is if he can wrestle. The masked man shows talent in the ring, and his power drive hold has won him a lot of matches. Area fans have taken to the big man with many colored outfits. And who was the Manador? Jerry Stubbs. Jerry Stubbs. This would Jerry, be the did you ever see him as the Manador? I've seen pictures. I loved his, he, he, he had like warm-up suits and they matched his mask and it was a tremendous gimmick, really. I would, I would assume that Olivia Walker made all those suits. Uh, what was the power drive? Does anybody know what that means? I would assume it's a power slam is what I'm assuming. Um, also on this, as we come down to the wire in the television tournament, the two leaders in the points are still Buzz Sawyer. And Dynamite Bobby Jaggers. Jaggers is telling everyone that he is the uncrowned champion, but Bobby is yet to wrestle for the trophy. The finals will be seen on TV Saturday, February 16th. Chances are the man he will face will be Sawyer. What happens when you throw Dynamite into a buzzsaw? <laughs> Good writing by Les Patrick. By the way, I think Les is, uh, is Les doing all right? Uh, yeah, I saw him comment today on a post that he was doing some better Still had a long way to go, but he was doing a little bit better. Uh, Daniel Lang asked the question, so you guys were there when a rookie Terry Taylor beat Bad News Harris for the Southeastern title. What a thrill for Rod. Yes. Yes. Apparently, even back then, I did not have a problem, Mr. Taylor. I, I really didn't. It was apparently uh, when he had his hair colored, there would become an issue. <laughs> Oh, anyway. all right. <laughs> and, it, and it just grow, grew over the years. When you start seeing little slight hints of people doing stuff, 
and you're saying I'm I'm going to I'm going to try to ignore it. At a certain point, you can't ignore it anymore. And that was the case with Terry Taylor. You just couldn't ignore it anymore. When he was doing things that I felt blatantly was trying to smarten the fans up, uh, you know, I, I don't have a problem. I mean, I have a problem with that. And, and let me just say, when I mentioned stuff to that, to some of the powers that be, you know what they told me? Hey, Rodney, it's a work. And I said, and you watch Terry Taylor and you can tell it is. <laughs> It could have been why the uh, business. You might want to start, and, they, and then they always said you might want to go back to selling your programs. And I said, "Well, who to sell it? Who if you have people like Terry Taylor letting everybody know it's a work?" <laughs> By the way, here's a couple other matches, uh, and I won't read this over here. But the Killer Call Cox and Dick Slater, Rob, you remember those matches? Yes, yes, I do. I tried to forget those. Those were some horrible matches. Uh, you know, we talk about bad matches in our time. Those matches were horrible. But no, Bob Armstrong was there at the time. Mm -hmm. He was the Southeastern heavyweight champion. He was actually the booker. Um, actually, actually, Bob was the booker when he was there. And David Schultz and Dennis Condry were there as a tag team. Also, awesome. uh, some new arrivals in the area. The Universal Hunt through Boston Idol, baby. Uh, he was there uh, going against the Manchurians. Uh, who was the Manchurians? I can't remember. They were managed, yeah. They were managed by a uh, great Mephisto. I remember them, but that were they also the Islanders uh, that worked for Nick? I, Goulas? I believe they were the Samoans that worked for Nick Goulas. Uh, the great Mephisto, which uh, my father Ron West loved the great Mephisto. We never was a big fan of Frankie Kane, but uh, no, but we wasn't there when he was the Mask Inferno either. No, we were not. All right, so that's uh, also the Sheik, the original Sheik. Uh, was here as long uh, along with Killer Khan. Now look at this. Look at this photograph of uh, of Dennis Condry. Uh, this is this is a tremendous photograph. If you look at this, look at this. Uh... Oh, by the way, people, don't try to call that number. That number has been well disconnected for years. <laughs> so. <laughs> don't try to call that number. There's no southeastern. Did you that did you call it to see who it was? Uh, no, I didn't call the number. I just I just don't. Think and, well, it wouldn't be Knoxville now because Knoxville's not six one five anymore. It's 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 uh what was it? It's it's something else. Eight six five, I think. All right, y'all remember this? And, and Jack, I, you probably re I, I, maybe you remember uh, Killer Carl Cox. Uh, oh yeah. Look at Killer Carl Cox there. He's he's talking to you. Remember when he would look up at the ring and look, look up all the time? Yep. He He'd also hack his leg at the on the uh, <laughs> on the ring post. That's right. Yeah, he would. <laughs> and uh, there you see Bullet Bob Armstrong there, the Southeastern Heavyweight Champion. Hey, is that the same Southeastern title they used eventually? And uh, they take that belt with them. Looks like the same belt. I would. I would just assume they ordered the same one. Hey, uh, I want you to look at this. Here's a. Uh, here is uh, Dennis Condry. Let's look at this one more time. Here you see Dennis Condry looking up in the air. So maybe him and Killer Carl Cox had something that we didn't know about uh, looking up there. But but here they are looking <laughs> up in the air as well. That's the dream team right there. Look at that. 1980. Well, we know what date it is now. Yeah, they are the I, dream team. I remember when Cox was in Columbus, Georgia. And for a week or two after he had started there, he would do that. You know, he would stop, he would do his thing, he would look up. And I remember about that third weekend, somebody from the balcony at the perfect time yelled, What are you looking at? <laughs> <laughs> he would talk to Alex. It seemed like you remember he talked to Alex. Yeah. Yes, that's who he was talking to. Was well, talking by, to Alex. by the way, the angel was there as well. And uh, the angel said, well, I know he didn't say this, but Les Thatcher did. Everybody is afraid of the claw. The so-called top wrestlers don't want anything to do with me. If any of these champions had any guts, I'd be wearing their belts. That's from the angel. Uh, but uh, I just thought everybody was looking at the angel. Is that Frank Morrell? Yes. yes. Yeah, it was, it was Frank Morrell. Yeah. Um, you know, pretty good talent uh, back then during yeah. this, this time frame. Uh, by the way, Richard Hood said the Islanders were Athens Zika. Right. I do remember the Islanders because they yeah, actually wrote one of Atlanta as the Islanders. I'm looking at this program some more. We, we, we see right here Bobby Jaggers. But Dennis Condry's in this thing three times. Did he pay less stature to be in this thing <laughs> three times? Maybe he was looking for a filler. 
You know, there you see uh, Killer Khan down at the bottom. Then it's gone through Bobby Jaggers. Uh, you know, Bobby Jaggers, I think they uh, missed the boat with him in uh, Georgia as well. I think they could have done something. Look at look at Buzz Sawyer. Look at Buzz Sawyer right there. Zoom in on that what we can see. All right, we'll zoom in, cameraman. Yeah. yeah. Shape. And yeah, still, you know, even shape. even when he put on weight, he was still in tremendous shape. Hey, there you see. Watch this award-winning television program. 1976 Best New Program Award. Best Program of the Year 1977. Hey, they make up them names. <laughs> that was the only four TV stations they had. Knoxville, Johnson City, Hazard, and Crossing. I believe that's about right. There you see Les Thatcher, Phil Rainey, uh, the uh, commentators for the uh, TV show. And uh, and that was one of the best TV shows. In fact, many times uh, they had talked about bringing their, uh, uh, the, the director to Georgia to direct the show. I forgot, Bill Kincaid, uh, one of the best uh, direct TV directors of wrestling anywhere. And they talked many times about bringing him to Atlanta and direct the uh, TBS show. Uh, Richard Hood said Dennis uh, Dennis Condry David Schultz made a great tag team. They sure did. Yeah, they were, they were great tag. They were team. awesome. Uh, and here we see uh, Harley Race, NWA World Heavyweight Champion, with the uh, ten pounds of gold. Uh, just, I just wanted to share these programs with you. Uh, you know, I haven't really looked through these in years. Uh, finally, I got, got them all out and. Uh, I enjoy looking through this. We, I hope you do as well. If you enjoyed this, uh, give us the big thumbs up. It lets us know that you like what we're doing. And uh, go one step further and hit that notification bell. And it'll tell you the next time that we uh, upload a video. We do, we do upload every day right here on YouTube. Until the next one, so long. On behalf of Jack Lord, Rodney West, I am Brett West.